Hi, Hi everybody. Hey, how are you doing today? Pretty good, y'all. It's the Normies coming at you a little bit of the 100, season six, episode 13, untitled. Because I can't find the title. Hold on. The blood of the Sanctum. title is the, the blood, blood of Sanctum. Sanctum. Now, here's the thing about the blood of Sanctum. That's actually an old term from pre-biblical era. So pre-history, people used to say the blood of Sanctum all the time. Prehistory. What is it? What is it? What is it? What does it mean, no Chris? What does it mean? Uh, see, it means Sanctum was old school for the rectum. So when you were talking about the blood of Sanctum, <laughs> you were talking about after anal sex where there was blood off them. <laughs> Mark got nice. We're about to go out and get some blood of the Sanctum tonight, fellas. Yeah, yeah, yep. fuck yeah, bruh. All the frat bros, they're like, yo, I want to get out and for some blood well, of the blood of Sanctum. I am pretty sure that that, that lives somewhere on Pornhub. <laughs> yep. I'm going to look it up well, right now. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Close um, your other yeah, tabs. I... Close your porn tabs right now, people. I know one of you has it open. At least one of you. Because you guys are like, once I'm done watching the normies, I need to self-pleasure myself so that I'm not depressed while the world's falling apart. So what? Man. I don't blame you. Um... Well, are we going to do a discussion? What's well, going to happen this episode? All Abby the primes are going to die, except dead. for a handful of primes. They will integrate. As, as Marquetta said, Death it is going to be cool primes. to see her in this role. It is a bad guy. Bad Girl Abby. Yeah. Ooh. You guys remember Bad Girls Club? Pat used bad to watch Girl? Bad yeah. Girls Club all the time. No, wait. Wait, that reality TV show? No, I yeah, with all, the, with all the I'm going to talk about the Babysitter's Club. So I used to love that shit. Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I played it. All I right. hope you guys played it, too. I'm ready. No. <laughs> Pat, will you chime in so we know that you're alive? I'm alive. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> guys, this is not a market substitute. Support the OG content on your own. Feel free to support the normies over on Patreon. Support us on Patreon means that you can watch ahead. Head. It also means Head that you have to support our creative endeavors because we're big fans of creative endeavors and also the gaming channel, the cooking show, the podcast, the one secret project that nobody knows about, but <gasps> it does involve mild nudity, only butt cracks. They're going to find all the nudity butt cracks. Get. <laughs> and uh, that's all. Everybody pull up the world clock and get ready to let it come all over you with numbers. What? You get your world clock pulled out and let, them, let the numbers come to you. Yeah, there you go. Something, Alrighty. something, Jizz Whaler. Play. I Played. We on. Alright, the CW. Uh-huh. Previously on the, the 100. 100. Uh -huh. Octavia. This is how it's being unified. Yep. Yeah. 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 Mom, Mom please, need, please help. Okay, help. Okay, stop, stop. Everybody help. fucking stop. Help. <laughs> Jordan. Can I be honest, guys? Oh, yeah, that's right. Jordan. Just Abby's protocol. mini flashback was so lame. They showed, like, two things. She did cooler shit than that. But it was also cool they showed her family. No, that, that's about... That's like all the cool shit she ever did. It was her family. I, I love that. That's like what should matter most to her. I get that. What else did she do? She didn't really do anything else. That was cool shit she did. Oh, when she me. when she injected Clark into the City of Light. That was good. Uh, she, was, she was just a smart cookie. Oh shit, here we are. Abby, what are you doing? That's not Clark and Abby. Very good. Seems we got our night blood despite what I'm told you did with Kane. Now you have three seconds to stand down. Or what? If you kill them, we kill you. You didn't think this through. One. Two. Weapons down. No. But where, Clark? But where? Oh, they need a guy on the ship so they can have one contact is with the mom and let her know that this is real Clark. But when... It when is Clark gonna make her move? Like, why are you dragging it out this far? Like, that could have that could have easily not worked, and they all could have just been blown away. There's a computer upstairs in Med Bay. Follow me. Say, Raven. Yeah, yeah. Explain. I was about to say, y'all better share the key intel that you have. Simone, if we kill their leader, they will never follow us. And we need those people to serve us unless you plan on cleaning the trains. Do you really think they're gonna serve you, bro? Like, after everything you've been through. It's brilliant. A little genocide, a long nap. What the hell? Let's be explorers. How many times did you I'm not doing it. Armin 
sympathizing with you. I am. You're a little pitchy. I need you to fix that. <clears throat> Crazy knockout gas. For mindless murder zombies, these guys have a lot of fucking tactics. Do you or do you not believe in the divinity of the primes? You don't need a potion to find out my truth. Which? Primes are not gods, they're liars and murderers. Oh! Dang, that was savage as fuck. I just got to this planet. I don't even know what's happening. What is he drinking? It's what is it? Fucking crazy truth serum knockout juice shit, right? Oh. That's it? I thought they were drinking like that toxin like fluid shit. But if it's just blood, whatever. What is the meaning of that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is great. If everything was just to set up this moment, it was so worth it. Let's take them to the palace. Help them to their feet. You heard her. Get them on their feet. See how she flapped her cape away? You gotta, you gotta deal with some swag when you walk away. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta like, flap it back. Child of Gabriel stays. But Miller drank the jizz. What's gonna happen to Miller? Oh God! <laughs> yep, you got a kiss back. <laughs> Interesting. Another time, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> it's a toxin. We just have to get him to the palace. Gabriel's waiting. He'll know what to do. No, Mildo. And right back to square one. Clark, you have a gun. No guards. Kill them Are both. Are you feeling okay? You look pale. What are you talking about? Um, she has whole oh, like like a whole lot of Clark's mind space. Her mother had the same neural mesh as she did. I thought they destroyed it with an EMP, but... They did. I examined her before resurrection. I was See, about to make the She's same. making sure before she kills her that, like, it's not her mom. Damn. She's really dead. Uh, she is really dead. Do it, cuts. do it. Believe it or not, I am sorry for your loss. Oh, yeah. No, Clark, shoot them. Kill them, Damn. Clark, they need to die. Is there a particular reason Clark didn't put a bullet I think Russell's going to change. Right I think Russell's going to change. I don't understand. No. I don't understand why she yeah. didn't just but shoot But Russell's going to change. He, he, all he did is off for his daughter, and his daughter's not there. The glory of Sanctum is gone, and now Simone is taking up the mantle? She was the one saying <laughs> that shit before. No! Yes! Damn, that's like guys yes! like to leave my Fuck whole yeah, religion. Fuck yeah, bro. I will kill you, Satan! I will kill you all! But that's like everyone. It's like some... Ah! Jesus! Mm. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. Close. Dude, y'all see Maddie's evil ass smile? Now. Mom? She's faking! It's my father's name. Yeah! Well. Damn, that's fucked up. Like, this is 
this, so this, what this you're is saying is, show, is, Clark, you should have shot her in the face a, when you had the chance. This is the show where the kids actually kill their mamas. I guess she couldn't just shoot her in the face. That would have been too hard. Russell, she wanted to be poetic, Russell, like how Runner predicted. Russell sees it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did he? Did he just see yes, the, her floating yes, away? Yes, he just saw everybody float away. He's like the last prime now. The revenge I can offer would be so much sweet. sweeter. Chris called it. Russell agrees to everything. <laughs> Russell, at the point, like, I'm going to agree with this child with dissociative identity disorder. Who the hell are you? She's gonna be like, what the fuck is a shit? Maddie's head? evil as fuck looking when she does that. Jordan, we're here. We're safe. Lay him down. He'll be out for hours. Jordan, he's in too deep to respond. Adjustment protocol? Uh huh. The psychoactive component is pure red sun toxin. Wow. When used properly, it can be, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on, God. That dude just shit his pants, bro. Another clothesline. I don't understand. We told them the truth. Why are they still doing this? If they accept the truth, their lives mean nothing. Yup! Hondo! That's why I burnt the farm. So true! Don't you justify burning the farm. Oh, she didn't. I guess she was just explaining why they did You take me in as a prisoner. I don't want you inside the well, tavern. No, 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 no. Slow down. No way am I drinking that stuff. They're killing non-believers. My friend who you left behind is one of them. Look, I am sorry, but we stayed to save our friends, and we did that. If I could help our people in space, I would. But this isn't our fight. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, but would you really want to risk it? Yeah. Like, ugh. This is not making them better. They're trying to be better. Wait for me. There you go. I can't let these people die, Mel. Side by side. Like it was meant to be. Yeah. They're back. They back. Aww. Yeah. I love you, O. Aww. I guess it's time to do better. There you go. There we. I think Murphy's gonna have to chance to be a fucking hero. If I die, you're bringing me back. No. I'm not. <laughs> Please slide. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love Murph Dog. Also, guys, promise me if you're ever running away trying to escape from a room full of people, you don't scream help. Help! Like, you, you're in the room with the people that are gonna kill you. Where's Maddie? Russell. Russell took her. You didn't shoot him. Oh, no. Damn, she about to lose her mother and her daughter. You don't understand. I killed his family. No, it's gonna kill them. I won't let that happen. Oh no, I think Guy is gonna die too. Where the fuck you get all these people from? Did he wake did he wake up the people? They just woke him up. Next up come Trigrin said you were strong. But you're as weak as her. Your love has made you so. It wouldn't be a finale Damn, without a reference to love the Plexa shippers. The trigger. Oh, and three. Trust out. Two. Oh. She's come up when I'm gonna. Now oh. duct tape her mouth shut. Oh, Just duct tape her mouth shut before she. Before she changes back, you better duct tape that shit. See, guys, with love you are strong. Love, I love love. If Nikki was here, I love love. Oh my god. He's killing her. He's killing her. This guy barely has a scope of everything. Yo, that music. Give Raven the goddamn. Yeah, blade. give Raven the blade. Give Raven the blade. Yeah, Raven yeah. blade. There you go. Or Jackson, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah Jackson. Jackson. That's just longer than I remember. Not the commander anymore. Thank you. 
They're like sisters from another mission. I mean, yeah. They're the same mother. Raven. They're also Eskimo sisters. For real? Who? Bellamy? Oh, yeah! Finn, oh. Finn, 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 Finn. To is where? He taking over the ship? Yeah, where did, where did he go? Where the fuck did he, did is he, he go? Is he in a ship? Where'd he go? Uh, Marquette did he get thinks he's... onto the ship? Yeah, yeah, yeah the ship. next season's gonna be dope. ship, I guess. Bro, Clark better apologize to Maddie for punching her and drugging her and shit. We purify sanctum through fire. Oh, God. What? So get down! What? She just did a little 180 right there, right? Oh my god, they're going full midsummer. Hey. I knew it was like midsummer. There we go. My captain just slapped the fuck out of me because he's nervous. The glory and the grace. She didn't do herself. Oh my Bro, god. She's psychotic. She gonna set herself on fire and run into the thing. No one's gonna fight someone who's on fire, bro. Bro, she's psycho. Yeah, who, who wants to was run themselves on fire? Who like, that's just the worst way to die. Oh, They could have made this character some other devout person we'd seen all season, but they just introduced this crazy lady this episode and set her on fire. When did you get that? What? Back tattoo. Oh, my, that's hella dope. Anomaly tattoo. It's Cree language. Coulson. Coulson's out there. There's a message. Seen that before? No, but I've been studying it for 150 years. We call it the Anomaly Stone. You must have gotten it on the other side. Still think you were gone for only a few seconds. It's beautiful, but what does it mean? Good question. We'll find out together. Find out next season. She has to go back. Go get the I'm gonna help clean up our mess. Just like his dad. Yep. Just, just like, like his, his dad. dad. I'm just saying, Sanctum wasn't perfect, but these people had peace. Yeah, and this relationship is dope! They also had no freedom. You sure you're okay? But they also had no freedom. And they were killing but innocent they were, people, but they had peace, so though. it wasn't really peaceful. No. What? He gave Jordan the pro Oh my... What did he give? It might have been Priya's prime piece, or his, I don't know. Maybe one that he can use for Bro's himself. Brainwash too. He's gonna use it. Watch. <laughs> they gotta still have some serum left to make him a uh, night plot. It hurt about Abby. I tried to do better. You did do better. I did do better. I have to believe that that matters. Most of the people are still alive, which is not your usual affair. Blark forever. Blark. Wow. That there is an alien artifact, sir. We have no idea who made it or what generation the magnetic field that holds it. Fucking. Up. We're pretty sure it's what sucks in all the radio signals. Hey. Some of the symbols on her back are red. Hey. It's a code. Very good. We're about to find out what it's for. May I see the drawing, please? Take your shirt off, though. Oh my god! Well. There's that at least. The knot is spreading. It's killing everyone, wow. isn't it? Dios is gonna be back. Dios was my mother. That's Dios's child. Dios's child? Yeah, it's her kid. Ah. Uh... What the fuck happened? Who just got stabbed? Let's go. What? What? The fuck? What is. What the fuck just happened? 
did they know each other? Like she was she spent more time in the anomaly that oh we got talk. Well, we're in full Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. mode now. Now I really wish she didn't choose to look inward earlier and actually f so we know what the fuck's going on. She must have spent some time with Hope in that anomaly. Like, quite a bit of time. What Bro, so you fuck? know what happened? Probably, like... The whole planet they, was... Mysterious. Wait, three, two, one, three, two, one. Fuck. Bro, when Octavia went in there, she probably, like, lived some time. Like, like Gabriel said, he, like, it was a long time. And all that shit. And probably, like, I don't know, something, like, she saw Hope grow up and whatever and, like, some monster... Like, got involved and, like, took her mother. And then, like, to get her mother back, she had to come back and kill Octavia because Octavia had the tattoo or knew so too much or something. I don't know, man. Well, but she was also, like, uh... She tell, she say? tell she him said, it's done. Uh, yeah, yeah, and she, she said, he has my mom. And, like, she knew who he was. Yeah, yeah. It's like, she started getting memories back, I feel. Like... Uh -oh. Yeah. Damn. So, how are we going to watch any more 100, guys? It's all run out now. That's it. That's it. No, That's all she wrote. Yeah, July. It July comes back July. But I mean, like, where do we watch it at on, when it comes out? Is it Hulu Live, probably? Are you sure it's out? It doesn't come back July? Yes, it's been it's going, been going, going up. We, oh, we talked about this yesterday. Episodes deep. Run up. What other show did we think? Well, I'm thinking of another show, then. My bad. Something back in July. I, uh... <laughs> oh, man. What a, what a fucking crazy season finale that was, though, man. Right? Octavia just turned into a fucking green ghost. Uh, I mean, do you guys think she's still alive? Yeah, she's still alive. Yeah, Diaz they got rid of fucking Shade Hedda, but now he's taking over the ship. <sighs> yeah. Abby's dead. Oh my god, it's gonna Abby's be Shade dead, dead. Hedda versus Octavia. Yeah, yeah. For the true yep. leader of one crew. <laughs> <laughs> This is, this is crazy. I don't know what to think right Abby now. Abby died. Russell's captured. Yeah, what the fuck's yeah, was, going on with the ship, though? Like, what? But they, they landed. They they all came onto the ground, though. So, like, what? I don't know if they landed the big Alicia ship, because I don't even know if there is a way to land a big one. I think it's supposed to, like, stay in space, and they just did yeah. the drop ship. Oh. So he is the ship. Mega. Ooh, although he let him drop. I don't know. Next season's gonna be super interesting, I think. This was cool, though, when they were like, we did better, because, like, they left way more people alive. Like, I know that they freed them, and, like, any day of the week, with all the peace that they had, they were still literally lambs to the slaughter. Even Russell and them were like, we need poor people to fucking dig the latrines and shit, so, like, we need subjects to rule over. Like, fuck all that noise, man. Their whole entire society was built off of a bunch of bullshit that needed to fucking come crumbling down one way or another. That's true, yeah, that's true, I but Jor 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 Jordan also had a point, though. Jordan had a point. Bro, Jordan's brainwashed. She saw the guy who brainwashed him in the, point, background, he was wrong. in the background. Just like, no, like, no, 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 no. I, I, listen, listen. I mean, if, if they were having peace, and they had no issues, and they were surviving for this long, and we come in there and we fuck shit up, did we bring peace? Or did yeah. we... How did you bring peace if you come in there and fuck shit up? But, when they already had peace for a while. Found, what we also found out, Pat, is that they were literally drugged to maintain that peace like a lot of them were just drinking that blood so that they could make bring the kool-aid getting their adjustments Literally on whenever they got out of the line like they were in a cult bro absolutely necessary. so yeah, yeah. sure but, they had but, peace, as, but they were also they had no freedom man i had a question right. though guys if you could be a little docile and had to like just have a little faith but it meant world peace would you not take it probably not why not? I like that. What the because hell? Because I've been the raised truth. with too much of an identity of wanting and having my own freedom. I think that there are some things I'm willing to give up freedom-wise in order to make sure that the world. But is but then but 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 so you're not you're not you're not willing. On. Let me finish. Hold uh -huh. on. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. One finish. Uh -huh. If I need to be drugged and I need to be fucking in some kind of weird bullshit utopia, no, that there's better ways to do it. There's literally a fucking cure. For everything in society, I'm sure if we all worked hard enough and figured it out, that isn't everybody stay high. No, I, I, and I listen I, to your leaders. I 100 percent agree I'm with you. I, I 100 percent agree with you. But like, I'm just saying, like, wouldn't you accept that? Like, what Sura said, wouldn't you accept it for the greater good? Because like, you know, we yeah, all yeah, have, yeah, we yeah. all gonna have peace if you just be a little docile and accept. Hey, everything how it is, and we all gonna live good. Yeah, under whose rules? How do we pick these leaders? Well, how do we pick these people who get to decide like, every single no. thing for me? Fuck that noise. No, but I'm not gonna just accept what somebody tells me. I wanna accept it for well, myself if I wanna accept it. Haven't you all been like, 
if the world but smoked then, a little bit of weed or did something like yeah all that, exactly like, like, yeah, like, like, like that, that one guy, that, that one one guy, the, guy the, the one guy who tried to like like drop acid for everybody like, remember he tried to put acid in the water supply something like that like like that it's just like the water, like hey if everyone did acid they would okay, be all better. I don't want to like, compare the acid one that's dumb but like but, see because I don't weed, think the there's one won't. cure all for the world. Yeah. There's no easy way. But like the smoking. But weed if there was, that just means like trying to make people chiller, but that doesn't mean it's going to change their minds. I know, people's but like, we, still like, might want to murder. Obviously, people, that's people. not an example. But like if something like that existed, yeah, would, I would be. And, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, and then like like I I feel, I feel like religion is a drug. Like like it, it keeps you like it, like. It keeps you in line, like it keeps you in check and keeps you in line. So I, I and if, if, if that's what if religion is, is supposed to keep us in check and keep us in line to just provide us peace, and some people find peace in that, how is it? Why is it bad? Why do because we come and just repeat? People interpret it however they want and do whatever they want. Like for this society, for specifically on Sanctum, they did have peace, bro, but there was no upward mobility. If you were born a person that had to clean toilets for the rest of your life. That was your job for the rest of your life. Yeah. How is that fair? Also, God forbids you were born with black blood. Then you would just be sacrificed. Like, yeah. so, that, it's, so that the ruling class I think, can live eternally. Yeah, man. I think we got to look at fucking society and how it treats the people that it deems to be the worst. And if it's just yes. like, if you're not born with black blood, then you're going to be a fucking host at this fucking restaurant. That's your job for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. how, you don't have no fucking saying that. Fuck that noise, man. No. Black blood matters. But listen... It, there's no upward mobility <laughs> oh in our society either. Yeah, there is upward mobility in our society, but it's shit. It's shit wait, as wait, fuck, wait, and it needs to be wait, done wait, way better. I could never be a president because I wasn't born here, so there's no upward mobility. There. Oh my god. Okay, listen. We're not gonna get into it in our society. There is upward mobility, but it's done poorly. It does suck, and it can be done way better. So, like, I totally agree that we could be doing more for it, and it's like half-assed and it's bullshit. I, I see where where Jordan is coming. He's got he's got a really young, optimistic viewpoint of the world, and uh, he's, Jordan, he's, he's seen some traumatic shit. I think I think he's seen, like they did have peace technically. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, they did. Like they look, came there and they fucked were, their shit up. Yeah, exactly. It was it was until one hundred came down to their land and fucked everything up. They were doing fine along. Everyone, no one had issues. And it was all Gucci until somebody came from another country, came down there. Like, yeah, they I did have, have issues, and it wasn't all Gucci. What about the children of Gabriel? Oh, yeah. What and you... they killed Clark also. Or they tried to kill Clark without telling anybody. Oh, so, yeah. like They killed Abby. So, I mean, like they, it's not like their society was perfect, but they literally had issues. And I got issues. I mean, they killed Abby after all the shit went down, but the first no, like, no, I, I, inciting I, I, strike I, I, was I, 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 I completely forgot about like Josephine and Clark, like that, that I whole. Mean, I mean, not Clark, uh, Josephine and Gabriel. That whole history, I forgot about that shit. Oh yeah, there, there was an actual yeah, I forgot about dictatorship that. with um, eternal leaders, like, which is literally the uh, what you call the it? Worst. This is awesome. And it's one just, of the this, sorry. We got oh one hey one of the reasons why they um. Oh my God! Why the primes did what they did to Josephine is because they thought they could get away with it because they've been living as gods for so long that they knew they were above the rules. They struck the first fucking strike. If their society was perfect, maybe they'd have been able to integrate with people better instead of just thinking they can get away with whatever the fuck they want to because they think they're gods. Yeah, the, the we, we can't even fuck shit up. Also, I forgot what I was gonna say. Maddie's not the commander anymore. The flame is gone officially. That means Alexa, yeah. no, not Alexa, Lex, Lex, oh fuck, Alexa's done, too. Yeah, R.I.P. Alexa, properly. Mm. Nah, I mean, the, they, they always bring a... bring her back. I bet she's going to be yeah. in the ship next, in the series finale. Like, if, if Shed had us somehow in the in the computers, then I'm sure Alexa and, and shit. Yeah. Well, did it, did <laughs> but that's just him, plane? that's not the hub. They're not, like, on the hub of a drive kind of thing. That's just, like, his yeah. only, like, I mean, we don't know escapes. who's all, who, who all got uploaded. Who is on the drive? Like, which drive is he holding? No, it, if it's the drive from the flame, then it's going to have all the previous commanders on it. I don't think it's the commanders. But like, Are you talking remember... about the one Jordan was holding? No, oh, we're talking no, about no, Sheet we were talking about on the ship. Oh, gotcha. No, it's, it's like... erased. It's, it's, it's gone. No, they downloaded it onto a separate computer, and it looks like it jumped from that computer to the system. It yeah, uploaded it like... to the whole ship. Oh. And it was only his file. It wasn't like the rest of like the other commander files. It was only his. Well, was it only where did he his? Go. They yeah, did they... say where did he go instead of oh, where yeah. did they go. Gotcha. Hey, Chris. So, so then they were able to, if they were able to separate. How do you, how do you know, how do you know it was only him? his though? Like, because just... they only took him out and uploaded him and they're like, where did but he go? But they were talking. But they killed the but they, whole thing. They were thing. talking about, yeah. 
That would make no sense for them to kill everyone if mm. they could if they could separate him and quarantine him. I'm going it based off of literally when they said where did he go instead of yeah. where did they go. Yeah. But maybe I'm just going like, like, off like, maybe like like maybe they uploaded everything. I mean, I, like, I'm predicting it as a surprise thing, guys. That Shade Hedda is, is has them in their in his clutches, and then at the end, like some anomaly happens, and he's like, "What? What's happening?" And Clark is like, "Lexa." She's still in there, and we're like, "Oh, we're like just in there, my God, they're all in there." I don't know. I'm just <laughs> the show can't resist having Lexa moments. I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring her back somehow. From um, I yeah, I really hope also fucking is not dead. What's her name? It's not dead. Octavia. Bro, Octavia is definitely yeah. four million percent not dead. Yeah, she, she's not dead. Yeah, five no, five hundred trillion percent. Like, well, I mean, like she, like 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 no, her, she, 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 she no, her, the so character, well. like her character might be dead, but she, like the body's dead, but like she's in a different world, like she's dead, dead. Yeah, she's maybe I guess world. her body could she's, be. I don't know. But because she like, got turned into like a puff of smoke, bro. Like if she can be a puff of smoke, I mean, maybe Octavia is like, like that's what I'm saying. Like her spirit, her spirit went somewhere else. Her body is dead. That. Like that, what I'm trying to say, like next season, her we, whole body turned into the puff of smoke. Though you know what I mean? What do you mean? Like she got stabbed once, and then her whole entire body turned into a puff of smoke. Like yeah, she evaporated. I, but he wasn't holding anything, so I mean, like I think like oh, she's I th- like I th- some th- kind I th- of fucking. I thought, I thought I thought I thought we saw the blood from the stab wound. Didn't we not see that? We saw the blood, but like her body disappeared. Like her whole entire body turned uh, into smoke. And I must I must so. miss that. I must miss that. Yeah, it was it was some magic shit. Some magic stuff happened. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, can, can I can I go back on that one scenario with Jordan? Because I, I have a good scenario. I want to lay it out on you guys. Go uh, for it. All right, Chris, you ready? Sure. All right, Chris. He's brainwashed. Let, let, no, no, no. Stop. Let, 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 let me. Let, it's, go, it's going to be. It's going to be a five minute scenario. Let me to get your undivided five attention. Minutes. All right. But oh but here God. we go. Here we go. I, I guarantee you. I, I will explain everything. All right. Here we go. We're gonna start off. So think about this. Me, me, and you, Chris. Okay. We're in Indiana. We we were born in Indiana, and we were born in Indiana when Indiana was already two hundred years old. Okay. Indiana is already two hundred years old. They already created a whole civilization. They created a whole bunch of structures. Already, it's done. It's set. They already created it, and now we are, are complied to live in this world. It's already done. You were not born yet. Now, your parents, you know, did they did their thing. Now you're born. All right. Now me and you are born. We're born in this society that's already been created for us. It's done. And now, it's, uh, it's, it's, now we had to find our happiness in this society, right? Now they tell us with religion and all this stuff, you do this, you, you're happy, you're happy. The whole point is to find happiness throughout your life, right? And like, if you know. That religion is going to, if you follow the religion, you do all this stuff, you're going to go to even heaven or hell. You do that, find all the ways, right? And this is what people do. They, they try to do all the good things so they go to heaven and they know that the life has another thing after this life. And all they want to do is be happy in this life so they could be going to the next life. So when someone, you've been peaceful and you've been doing all this stuff. And now, 50 years later, you're doing all this and everything comes as Gucci. You've been living your life. It's free. It may not be the, what you think until now. But until someone else comes into it, someone who's never been in Indiana doesn't know anything about Indiana, comes here and says, hey, these guys are wrong. This is nationally what, this is not what true peace is. This is what peace is. This is what freedom is. This is not what freedom is. And then, but, but you experienced peace. You knew what peace was. And now you come here and you see the whole thing just shake down and collapse around you. How can you say this is peace? How can you say after this is going to be peace? Because for them, that person may not really realize that or see that because all they had peace. But you try to show them a different peace because that they've never seen before. essentially their religion. Yeah, so specifically, because um, for if in this situation, if the people who come and say that this isn't peace and they have proof and I've been able to see that proof in my own society that things don't exactly work out the way that people see they are because I have free thought and I can like observe that, hey, things aren't always the way that uh, people say they're supposed to be or the way that they are. If I can see that incongruency. And these people say, "Yeah, this isn't real peace." Then, like, I'm gonna be inclined. Right, to but like, them. if you've been, like, if I see the problems in my society already, if I don't see any of the problems, then yeah, I just think those people are lying. But if I don't see any of the problems, is it because like they don't exist, or because like I'm not looking for them? No, I'm. I, like I guess saying like if so, like you you didn't you didn't know, you didn't know they existed because you, you, it was never brought in front of you because you were going through the motions of life. Um, of the society, but someone came in and told you, hey, to disrupt that pattern and say, hey, this is wrong, this is not how it's supposed to be, but you, at that point, how can you just let go of all the things that you learned in 50 years, of, or have you yeah, been if through? If they bring proof, I'll let it go. If someone brings me proof right now that fucking something I've held on into my life 
all this time is wrong, I'd be like, holy shit, for real? Right. Yeah, Damn, I'm just saying, like, but, 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 how, with, like, but you, group, you're, like, you're, you're trying, you're trying to like do this to the masses. Like now it's going to be hard to turn every single person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what a revolution is. It's going to be tough. And it's gonna be bad, but on the but other then side that of the what the rev, what what does what does revolution like? It's gonna bring more more pain and suffering until we get to the end, right? For that moment, yeah. for that worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. It is worth it. One hundred percent worth it. But if let's say if I'm me and you in this scenario in Indiana, like two hundred years down the line, again, if if you are living for fifty years and you are you are happy, and you're Pat, doing. It, I'm a rebel at heart. I would fight against it. Period. Even if it's me. Plenty of people thought that my back heart... the slave times there was plenty of peace, and then there was a bloody civil war, and they were like, "Stop fighting that because there was peace beforehand." And my, guess what? My we horoscope... kept doing it, and afterwards, it was better. My horoscope says I'm 150 percent rebel, so I'm fighting this. Yeah, like Pat, Pat, your theory means that nobody would fight against apartheid, nobody would fight against slavery, nobody would, be, nobody would fight against Nazis, and nobody would fight against communism. Yeah, because it's inconvenient. But the revolution is always inconvenient, but it's always for the betterment of the entire society, not just few individuals in power. I'm, well, I'm not saying, it's in, in, like, I'm talking about the people, not talking about the people in the power, but I'm talking about the people who are, who are, like, affected because of these people. But it's hard for them to, like, like the girl says, if I, if you tell me this is, this, this hour has been living for so long, and you tell me, you'll, okay, this, this is it now, then th those last 50 years, that meant nothing to you. That means... You, that you are nothing. Like, that you, you, okay, yeah. well, I, You're think, I understand that. Listen, my, my family, some of them still think communism was good because they themselves were born in it and they experienced the good side of it. However, everybody knows that it is overall very bad for 90% of society. So they're not trying to implement it, but sometimes they, they look back in like, Reminiscence, and they like don't see for the forest for the trees, or you know. Marquette is a communist. Yes. No. <laughs> oh my god. Serge is trolling you. Don't let him troll you. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is that sometimes you look back with nostalgia, and you don't see what like my par my family has like this like selective memory where they look back at. <laughs> The communism, and they're like, you know, times were better because we had this and we had that. But like now, they have so many more things, but they are selectively just remembering the things that they could have then. You know what I yep, mean? Yep, I know that. Like feeling. somehow they think it's better, but it's not really. It's really not. It's like us Preach. when we were like. I, and I'm not saying I'm that the society we have right now is better, but or like is is like perfect, but it's definitely better. Hey, I look back at Nokia phones, I'm like, man, Snake was fun on that. Snake was a lot of fun. <laughs> Surge, what were you about to say? Oh, this is like us whenever we're all like, oh man, I wish we could go back in the day when we used to drink from the water hose in the backyard and play out in a cul-de-sac. But then again, that was time before information was readily at our hand. And, you know, we had the power I mean, to yeah. communicate with each other like we're doing right now. I'm, uh, watching TV and doing a YouTube and channel mean, and I shit. I've got way more responsibilities as an adult, and there's a lot of things about being an adult sucks, but I also have so much fucking freedom. I can go and do pretty much whatever I want, man. So, yeah, I was protected and I was safe as a kid, but I didn't fucking have a cool-ass bike or dope-ass little musical instruments because I was a little fuckboy. I didn't have a cool camera back then. I didn't even know about cool cameras. And I didn't so, have a girlfriend. about the show. Why? It was good. The yeah, about yeah. the show. I mean, honestly, this was a solid season, in my opinion. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was probably yeah. my favorite season. Like, yes. It was really, really good. I, I like solid I, season. I, I like the how they did the whole mind drive and all that shit. That was cool. And I liked how, like, honestly, this 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 season was to introduce religion. Like that that, that was the basis of the show is to introduce religion and how it go fuck shit yeah. up. So I feel like they had religion before with uh, the whole headers and almost even the one crew stuff was becoming Wh which season kind of zealotly. Uh, just when they introduced the flame and like how um, oh uh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 I can see that too. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah, flame yeah. keeper. Yeah yeah. I don't know. I, I think this season just really headed home. I, I think because like yeah. I feel I yeah, feel well, like, it definitely did. I, I feel like this like because like and you, we saw like the the one hundred like guys, the younger sorry, generation. They're the ones who were, like free thinkers and think for themselves and stuff like that. So it's the older generation that fell to the. Um, you know, in line. So Kane died after yeah. he got a really hot body for a while. 
Yeah, yeah. Man, Kane and Abby both both dead in the same season. What do you know? Yeah, things change. Things After change. Body swap to some degree. Yeah, was this an interesting Thanks, concept altogether? Like it was this creative concept with the mind drives and taking people's bodies and Clark pretending to be Josephine and shit. It was, it was nice to bring see back. Yeah, Josephine pretending to be Clark. Uh, yeah. Oct- yeah. We got to see inside Octavia's mind and Clark's. So uh-huh. like that was that was cool. It was a nice comeback from like the grounder and like other seasons we saw because of the primes and the and the you know and everything the mind drives and everything we're like oh this is where it came from or this is what happened yeah. to it too it was dope and now it seems like since they don't have any more groups of people to fight like all that fighting's over that it's gonna be essentially them maybe versus technology or them versus space anomaly. So yeah. I, I'm interested in really seeing kind of how that goes because it's always been like one group of, against another group. But yeah. maybe for this last season, we just get to see humans finally as a group working together um, for one fucking goal. Is this is this the last season? That we learned about Beta Planet and Gamma and like there Delta. are all the other planets that are potentially livable. Yeah. They're like 20 years apart. Kristen, uh, did you really just say and- human beings working together? <laughs> I did. We're in a also, pan- we're in a pandemic, this- <laughs> and look what look how good we're doing. Also, this season was cool. R.I.P. to Monty and everybody else. This was good in Harper. Yeah, like this was a really yeah. good season. Also, Clark is like a badass. Like this was her baddest season. Oh, yeah, she bad bitch. Just like she's went through so much this last episode. Just like having to push her mother outside. Of, yeah. Like, yeah, that was just. She like had to dump That was face. really heartbreaking. And like the whole episode, she just had to pretend like she is okay with everything that yeah. was just unfolding in front of her. Even like the stuff with Maddie, when she had to punch her in the face and shit too. Yeah. Man, this was yeah. good, guys. This was, this was definitely one of my top seasons for sure in the show. Yes. Yeah. Well, guys. Blark forever. Blark yeah, forever. For sure. f- yes, Blark forever. I hope we get some solid <laughs> Blark moments in season seven. No, Echo. Uh, they could be a trouble. How about trouble? A trouble. Create a trouble. Create a trouble. Create a trouble. Create a trouble name. Create a trouble name for them. All right. We ain't. We don't give it to some polyamory. That could be pretty cool. Hopefully they Marco. go to another planet Marco. with like another toxin that just makes everybody super horny and like Clark and Pat. Bellamy and Echo. The fucking ink. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, it's Blarko. <laughs> That's their thruple name. Bla- Blarco. 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 Polo. Blarco. Polo. Blarco Polo. I'm with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blarco. guys. We'll see you all in the next season. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. This is... Also, sorry if I was on my phone. He's, he's having surgery, and his dad is driving home now. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching. And a big shout out to Aaron, Austin, Desiree, Eleanor, Explorin, Tacos, Joe Mags, Liam, Michael, Michael, Nick, Nubtuck, Javi, Quinton, Ruby, Bystander, Tristan, Jay Sobel, Kelly, Keyboard Junkie, NYR Fan, and CJP. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week.